Hello and welcome to a short video on how to add students to the class that you have created. In our case, you've already created an introduction IoT or a Python, uh, program essentials in Python course. Once the course is created, in order to add students, you go to the course details item. So you're under I'm teaching, so you I'm teaching. You'll make sure you are under your academy. If you happen to be under multiple academies, you can click just the academy you're part of. Find the class you want to add students to and click on course details. At this point, you can click on add students. And there are several different ways to add students. The easiest way is simply to click add student and then you can click add new student. And at this point, you'll put in their first last name, email address. And if you have a uh, student ID or internal school ID, you can add that here. The big issue here is to make sure that the student doesn't already have an existing Academy account. So if your students are taking, for instance, you've already created, let's say the program essentials in Python, and now you're creating the IoT class, you don't have to add a new student because that student will already be there. You would just add the student. But if this is a totally new student, you'll put in their first and last name, email address, and you will click save and finish or save and add another. You also, if you happen to have a large number of students, you can import from a CSV. So if you click import from CSV, it will actually give you the format, the template, so you can upload the file using that method. You do have the ability to add seat tokens, which with seat tokens, you can actually just give the student the seat token. So we're gonna add seat tokens here. And if you get the add seat token, at this point, the students can actually go to netacad.com. Let's go over here and let's go to netacad.com. And for some reason, mine's in Spanish in here, but you basically can go to, oh, let's change this, let's go back over. netacad.com, if I'm logged out, you actually can click here and do redeem seat token. And when you do this, and mine goes in because I'm already logged in, but it will prompt you for the seat token and you would add in the seat token. For most of your classes, the easiest thing will be to do is just add students individually or import them from the CSV. Another final thing you could do, let's say you've already added the program essentials in Python, you've put all your students into that class, you can import from another course. So you can actually find the course that you're using and import those students into the course. And you do have the ability to select the individual students. I'm not gonna show you the roster from another class, but it is possible to do that. So again, let's go back through the multiple methods you had to add students. You can add them individually. You can import them with a CSV. You can import them from another course if you've already got them in a course in your academy, or you can create seat tokens that you give to them that they will then redeem themselves. I would, right now, don't worry about the create self-enroll page. This is for campaigns where you're doing a self-study style class instead of instructor-led. I hope this has been useful and have a wonderful day.